peace be upon you. I'm here to talk about suicide. We hear about the term suicide frequently nowadays to the point we kind of lost its seriousness. We even add it in our daily conversations sometimes, jokingly. We've seen suicide prevention helpline coming along with the notifications for 10th and 12th exam results. We've read about farmer suicides of men and women of all ages committing suicide in the newspaper. Our Kerala, who has many first to its credits, hasn't backed up in this case either. Kerala State Crime Record Bureau says that suicide rate in Kerala is more than double the national average of 11.3 in 2021. Now let's talk something about what suicide is. Suicide is the act of intentionally causing one's own death. Mental disorders, physical disorders or substance abuse can be risk factors. There is growing evidence that social factors such as education, employment status, income level and wealth play an important role in determining the risk of suicide. Suicide is best understood as a multidimensional, multifactorial malaise as the debate on suicidal behavior has. Although suicide is a deeply personal and individual act, suicidal behavior is determined by a number of social factors as well. The debate on individual vulnerability versus social stressors in the causation of suicide has divided our thoughts on suicide. It is best understood as a multidimensional, multifactorial malaise. Suicide is perceived as a social problem in our country and hence mental disorder is given equal conceptual status along with family conflicts or social maladjustments. In India, suicide, an attempted suicide is a punishable offence in which the person can be punished for a, with a simple Im imprisonment for a term which may extend to one year or with a fine or with both. However, the aim of law to prevent suicide legally has been counterproductive since many hospitals and practitioners deny the emergency care or needed treatment for the ones who attempted suicide, fearful of legal hassles. The view that suicide cannot be prevented is held even among health professionals. Many beliefs may explain this negative attitude. Chief among them is that suicide is a personal matter and it is left for the individual to decide upon it. The other reason suicide cannot be prevented is because its major determinants are social and environmental factors such as unemployment which the individual has little control over. However, for the overwhelming majority who engage in suicidal behaviour, there is probably an alternative appropriate resolution to the precipitating problem. Suicide is often thought of as a permanent solution to a temporary problem. We must understand how miserable one's life must be to the point they decide to end it. And we as a society has a huge role in inserting such an idea. So let us hold out our hands to help those in need and prevent such act with, with a little sense of humanity. Thank you.